Beyond the Fairway Podcast, your man Dougie Fresh, alongside Dread Handed Wonder, as always, Will Lowry. Will, Jesse Lee Soffer coming in here, Chicago PD, lead detective on that thing, man. Look, I can't wait to get into this uh, interview. I want to talk to you, man. What's what's your world like right now? What's good? Man, the world is a bit bit upside down. I had a had a weird uh had a weird weekend, you know, I had a had a crazy experience, but Okay. I want to talk about your experience. What what happened? What happened with some golf clubs? Broken golf Nothing. clubs? Oh yeah, man. The airline. Dear, dear nameless airline. It starts with a D. <laughs> um, I, I'm pretty disappointed in you know what I'm saying because like that airline is like the Rolex of airlines. You know what I'm saying? I fly to. I fly to airlines where everybody's first class. You know what I'm saying? So I, I'm excited to to have this premium experience on this flight down to... Uh, I went to Jacksonville to record for PGA Tour Live and then headed to the um, PGA Assistance Championship in Port St. Lucie. But when I got to Jacksonville, my clubs didn't make it on the flight, Will. They just didn't even make it onto my connection through uh, Atlanta. How about that? Right. I guess the airline. <laughs> so I get I get to Jacksonville. I'm, I'm, I'm in a good mood. And my clubs, uh, they didn't make it to the. They didn't make it to Jacksonville. So, so did you play with twelve clubs, or did you get them fixed? How'd you get them fixed? Hold on, let's let's let me let me let me shout some people out here that that really kind of helped me out. So, drivers broke, four irons broke, pitching wedges broke, uh, and my my putter, my my circle tee, my coveted James. Oh, Wandsworth. I love that putter. My James Wandsworth was bent, bro. The arm, the strong arm in the bag, right was bent at 30 degrees. The thing was like a boomerang. All oh. right, so, and I didn't open the bag. So mind you, the bag didn't make it to the flight. So they they couriered it to me at like 1.30 in the morning. All right, so I get the bag and I'm like, I'm not about to look in this bag. I got things to do. So that afternoon, I open my bag up. I'm going to hit some balls. That's when it was. That's when I discovered the man. Uh, it looked like lions got your golf bag, didn't it? It, it looked like hyenas got the lion after it got my golf bag. <laughs> but no, that's shout crazy. out to some people, man. I went to um, Evan Watts, dude named Dominic, held me down. He rebuilt my four iron, found a pool shaft and the throwaway bin, and um, you know the good folks at True Spec Golf, you know, helped me out with a shaft for my driver that wasn't mine. Then I got the p- pitching wedge reshafted with a shaft that wasn't mine. And then, and then the fitter at uh, Matt Moore, shout out to the fitter at uh, uh, True Spec there in Jupiter, gave me his putter. He actually oh. gave me his putter. Nice. So I played this event with a hodgepodge, but I actually played well until, and we'll get to that later. Yes. Um, but I heard you had an experience. Tell me, because I mean, like, it's wait, wait a second. What? What's I mean, the it was. You? It, I mean, it was experience, but isn't that crazy? I just. Let it out, man. I, I, this, is, this is group therapy right here. Come on. I, I went. I went to a Waffle House this weekend. Okay. Had a bad experience. And you know, when it, when it comes to my standard and quality of Waffle House, I'm just not a fan of clean Waffle Houses. You know. Cle- okay. Yeah, man. Yeah, I need I need my Waffle House to. I, I need a sanitation grade to be barely open. I'm not saying I want. I'm not saying I want all my restaurants, but just the Waffle House experience. I, I need I need all kind of different characters in you there. Want the greasy spoon. I want the greasy spoon. I want I want I want I want my cook to be facility manager and the guy that make my waffles. I I just think he I just you it was too clean, it. Doug. It was you too was clean. Different. You a different dude. You Man, did not have the taste that you needed. What was like, I mean? It just didn't probably taste right. I'm it just didn't taste right. Food. I mean, it just didn't taste right. Man, I, I, I my cook needs to have a tool belt. In an apron, like it, it. I just expect that type of environment when I go into a Waffle House. Did he have like, a mask on? He he had a he had a mask on. He, so that what that didn't help you at all. Okay. No, I didn't. I, I just I mean, <laughs> he needed a monkey wrench and a spatula in his tool belt. That, that's what I. That's what I. That's that's what I expect. I mean, it was just too clean, Doug. And and I should have known it because, you know, every car in the parking lot was parked facing forward. None was back then. You know, it had Tesla. There was some Teslas out yeah, there. Yeah, Tesla and the Waffle House parking lot. It just it just wasn't. All right, you you. Was just, I mean, it just area. I'm just used to the mini tour. Just I'm just used to the mini tour. I just want my Waffle House. I, you know you know how to you know how to waitress serve you a plate and they put they put their DNA on the waffle like their thumbprint. <laughs> You know, they put a dumper. They, they they hand you the plate. I do. Yes, yeah. I do. So yeah, I'm just used to stuff like that. I, I just I want my waiter to be qualified for all bathrooms. Well, like it that. sounded like your uh, 
experience was way more difficult than mine. But hey, it's time to get to it, Will. Let's go beyond the fairway with Jesse Lee Soffer, Chicago PD. Let's go. You're a New York cat, but like, it's Jesse Lee. That's some mm -hmm. very Kentucky Southern shit. Like, how how you get two names real quick? Man, Sorry, I'm can... not I'm not starting. I'm just making sure. That's fine. Okay. You can, you could blame my father for that. He uh, so my father was Stanley Arthur Soffer, and he decided he wanted to keep like Stanley S T A N L E Y, and he was like, oh, I'm gonna name him familiar. Jesse Lee. <laughs> okay, okay, sure. Dang, but it was either, it, it, he he used to mess with me and say it was either that or Seymour. So I'll take the lead. All right, yeah. well, 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 we are here with Stanley's son, Jesse Lee Soffer, <laughs> stepping in here, going beyond the fairway today, man. Jesse, I, I don't know what to call you right now. Is it Jesse Lee, Stanley's son, Jesse? Jesse, you can Je just call me Jesse. Just, Jesse's good. I, Jesse's good. Officer Halstead, I don't know what to say. <laughs> I do go by <laughs> Jay. A lot of people say Jay, and I'll answer. I'll answer right, to Jay on the street. All right, that feels way more comfortable, Jay. Welcome in here, man. What's happening with you? Uh, I'm chilling, man. It's a good day. Really good day. I, I was just saying it was, it's warm in Chicago, Un, like unseasonably warm in Chicago. So uh, I got out and I played today. It was a good day. So, you know, I know we just spoke, you played Jackson Park. So mm -hmm. you, you went, you went to the hood, got some golf in. I mean, how'd you how'd you play? I mean, what did the course look like? Hey, in, Will, he had his the course, he had his the PD course. uniform on when he was right. out there just to make sure he was good. Like he didn't he didn't have no collared shirt, t shirt. He hey, came it's, off it's, the set with his it. uh his bullet his, his bulletproof there isn't vest. Really had a, a dress code his, out there. Hey, his bulletproof. Hey, Doug, his bulletproof vest had a collar. <laughs> <laughs> how was golf today, yeah. Jesse? It was good. It was a good day. I actually, I shot, um, I shot 76 today. It's an easy course oh. though. It's a short course, short oh, course, wait. easy course. Wait a minute. Wait a minute. So 76. So you're, you're a golfer golfer. So what's your handicap? <laughs> Am I not on a golf podcast? I mean, no, no, no. We, we, no, we have some people on it. We have some people, we have had some people on this podcast that golf like, okay, but no, 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 you know, you, 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 no, you just said a number. I am an obsessive addicted <laughs> crazy freaking golfer yes, yes. so all right i'm going to go into it okay okay all so right. all right so are you so what what makes you different than the norm when it comes to the golf space what makes me different than the norm that i mean it all depends on where you know where you go or who you're golfing with like there's guys that just go out on the weekend with buddies and stuff like that i'm the guy that goes and practices <laughs> obsessively so that i can beat my buddies when they want to go out on the weekend you know what i, I mean like that about you yeah no um, i like that about you there's a certain level of seriousness that it takes to you know to, to seriousness have that attitude, that or sickness both it's, it's a fine line jazz it's a very fine line very thin okay. <laughs> so um, like when, when when actors are such as yourself do you guys have like a I mean, I, I'm not saying everybody likes Samuel Jackson, but is there something in the clause like, hey, I need to play my golf one or two days a week while Man, I'm I so skate not my there. trailer? I wish. I wish. Oh, okay. I was <laughs> no, no, but you know, like our first AD, you know, they're like, they're making the schedules and stuff for the show. And I'll, I'll sneak up to them and I'll say, hey, how's the next episode? Am I looking? Like, am I, am I in all of it? Am I in some of it? Do I got a day off here or there? You know, like, what's it worth to you? Probing questions. I love yes, it. It's like what, exactly. what day? What day are y'all shooting all the B rolls so I can right. be that's on, exactly on the green? Right. That's on exactly the, right. And the second I get, I get this much time, I'll go hit balls or I'll, can, I'll go. Can I be? A, can I be a Chicago field goal kicker right now? Can I just go <laughs> go play? <laughs> yes. Hold on, but with, with all the good golf that's in Chicago, what, I guess that was the closest course for you to play today. Mm -hmm. Yep. It's 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 really easy to get to. It's like 15, 20 minutes from where I live. Um, but I'll play anywhere in Chicago. There's Cog Hill, Harborside, Ooh, George like Dunn. There's, there's, there's a bunch of nice courses. Yeah. See, the thing about Cog Hill, it's like getting beat up, though. You play Dubs Dread over there. It's just like, uh, all du day. Du just, Dubs Dread is a getting... very hard course. Yeah, that course is insane. That course is insane. See? And if you play from the tips, it's like, what's what's the point? You're, just, you're, gotta... you're in you're in the sand all day. I love it. So yeah. so what was it like? Uh, so when you got there, I mean, would you take uh, Chicago police car, Chicago fire truck? How you get Chicago just medical? Just flick the lights on. Just flick uh, yeah, the lights on. Okay. And just yeah. All the cars just ho part ways. No. Hold on. Just, oh, this is just in. <laughs> there is a, another Chicago series called Chicago Sanitation. That's, 
<laughs> Dude, that joke is old. Man, I've been making that joke since we started. When oh, we is it really? See, yeah, that's, absolutely. I didn't know that. Well, okay, well, that, 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 once, well, once well, we that show stinks. Met, Never mind. Once we, once we made Chicago Med, they were like, everybody would be like, what's next? And I'd be like, well, <laughs> Chicago Streets and Sanitation. I don't know. <laughs> oh, well, there, I'm thinking I'm original. Here we go, once again. <laughs> Chicago Parks and Rec. Jesse, yeah. look, man, like, so talk to me a little bit because you're, you're nine seasons in. To, mm-hmm. to the Chicago series and how how did you become part of this whole franchise? What were the conversations like early on and did you think it'd be what it is now? That's a man, you know, it uh, it's been such a crazy ride. I never would have thought uh, like nine seasons later that we'd still be here. We'd still have fans that were totally addicted to the show and that we'd have a cast and crew that was still really passionate about what we do. Um, but here we are, and uh, we all still love it. We grind really hard. We really talk about the scripts, and you know, and we work on um, we work on elevating it every day, day in and day out. And uh, I'm just very fortunate, very very fortunate. But yeah, in the beginning, um, I started off. I did a pilot with NBC that didn't get picked up, and then was really sad. And my uh, executive producer on that pilot, her name was Dawn Olmstead. She called me up, and she was like, "Jess, it sucks," you know. Uh, I'm having a glass of wine and we're not getting picked up and, uh, but you did great. And, uh, just, just, uh, just sit tight. My husband's going to poach you for his show or something like that. It was some weird. And I was like, what? All right. Okay. Awkward. Thanks Dawn. You know? Right. Okay. And, uh, and sure enough, uh, Matt Olmstead, he was, uh, one of the creators of PD and, and, uh, called me up a few weeks later and started talking and, and that was it. And Jay Halstead happened. It was, and changed my life. It was awesome. I love it. I want yeah. to kind of go. I, want, I kind of want to go back when you just said the word grind. You know, getting mm-hmm. better. And obviously, when we go back to the game of golf, we're trying to get better. We're trying to grind. Mm-hmm. So, is there ways that you can get better in acting in your profession like it is in golf? Because you know, golf is you can always find ways to get better. So, is there certain ways in your acting profession where you can get better? Bro, do you want to have like a meta conversation right now? Because I will totally go meta with you. Uh, let's let's okay. go there, man. I want so, it. Listen, <laughs> I'm gonna write a book someday. I'm kidding about that, but maybe (laughs) because golf and acting are very similar things. And I've talked about this with so many people and they're like, you're crazy. Let it out. I'm not crazy. I'm not crazy. So basically there's this moment in between anything that's, that's been said or done in, in a scene, there's this moment in between and you're having these character thoughts, right? Mm -hmm. And you have to do something completely technical, which is hit a mark remember your line, say your line with the character thought attached to it, all these things, which is totally technical, but you have to throw that all out and be completely present and organic and in the moment, which is the exact same thing that has, that has to happen in your swing. You have to do this monstrously ta- technical task of hitting all of these points in your swing that you want to hit, but then throwing it out and just being present. And that's it. They're the same thing to me. And I think it's why I'm probably addicted to golf because obviously (laughs) acting spoke to me. And now this moment, this, this kind of meditative, be in the moment, be present thing speaks to me so hard, you know, does that make sense? So are you saying that you have to gain control by giving up? Control. Yes. Yes. <laughs> yes. <laughs> Doug, we was on there exactly. So you had to surrender. You had to surrender yourself to Absolutely. hit the beat and hit the mark. Okay. Absolutely. Okay. All right. I think a lot of, you got to show up. Yeah. That's good advice. I think a lot of people in whatever their industry, they get so tied into you know A B C D E F G steps, but you also have to react to whatever stimuli is coming your way, especially in golf. So if you hit a ball in the water, you hit a ball in a tree, your alligator takes your ball wherever it goes. Yeah. You gotta be able to like, just chill. Okay, and so you have, and you have to improv. To you gotta you say gotta yes do. and. You gotta say okay. Here I am. Here I right. am. What's what's next? I'm in this moment, yes. not that one. I'm not in the next one. I'm in this moment. You know. So hmm. so speaking of yes and, when it comes to some of the I guess, uh, when you don't feel like you had a great swing and it's hmm. been it been been a bad result, and you feel like you didn't hit a line right. So how do you how do you go about uh, is the same method in acting the same method is in uh, physical 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 swing? Mm, that's a good question. That's a great question. Yeah, I, a, a good buddy of mine who was on our show for a long time, Elias Cortez, uh, used to say that the professional, um, the you know the amateur goes home and thinks about it, and the professional lets it go. Ooh. And it's and it's the same thing. You you know the you don't hit it right. That's okay. You're you know you're 
your your 85 percent is is good enough for that moment and you'll get it on the next one but you got to let it go and and move on you got to keep going you know yeah but there's takes though but there's takes in acting you you mess up in 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 the shot you say the wrong line get your words mixed up dyslexia moment and y'all is a cut let's come back do it again I mean, no, not all, okay. yeah, you, you right, can come back and do it again, again, but how many times? You, it, it, it might be a big action sequence, and you've got to say a huge line of jargon while taking fire and shooting and moving and hit them <laughs> and do all this. You know, it is a wildly technical thing that sometimes you only have a few tries at it. And, and in those few tries, maybe there's, you know, four moments that you really want to hit character-wise, you know? And that's like, that's okay. That's like you got the next two holes. You got, you know... You got six shots that you really need to make happen, you know? Okay, Jay. So how many so how many how many takes will mm-hmm. it before how many takes will it have to happen before let's say the, the crew and say the crew will start to, you know, whisper, man, this guy he ain't on his game. <laughs> he ain't got because, it. That would because, happen. because you know in golf, you know in golf, when a new guy comes, he probably has two swings. I mean yeah. he if he duffs one, he mm-hmm. better hit that thing to two feet the next shot. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. <laughs> it's funny how the second guy's always better though right the, the second guy's better so right so, so much, h- yeah. how many takes do you get before man jay ain't on his game today man he's whack today we, we need to trade him in <laughs> <laughs> i don't here's the thing that's not my that, that you know there's the director's job would be to see that someone is struggling and to like mm-hmm. kind of finesse the situation into you know an avenue where we can we can move on this is good enough you know I've seen that happen. Has that happened to me? Yeah, but, hey, Will, hit him with that 20. Yeah. Hey, look, I need, yeah, hey, exactly. hey, hey, exactly. Rap, let me get one of them. Exactly. Let me get one of them. Let's try so, it like this. Maybe it's, maybe, is there a world in which we can do one where it's like this, you know? And, you, and so, it's, so the, it's up to the director. So, Jay, man, you know, I'm, I'm curious, you know, you, you're, you're, you You've been around. You've seen a lot of a lot of beautiful places. Is there any particular golf course in the country that, you know, that really uh, you take a liking to? Oh, that's a Ooh. great question. Um, that's hard. I, yeah, that's a really hard question. Let's say Chicago. Man. Let's keep it Chicago. No, 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 no hell no. We no, we no, we we done with the hood, Doug. We're done with the hood in Jackson no. Park. No, uh, I need to hear. I, I, my, uh, I apologize. My, my home course in L.A. is Wilshire. Is uh, okay. Wilshire. I like okay. Wilshire. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Um, and uh, one of my bosses, uh, Derek Haas, he was like, you know what? We, uh, you're playing. You're getting into this. It's you gotta you gotta come in and get into to where where his course is and that's Wilshire and so I got in and uh and that anytime I'm home or I have a free weekend or something I'm there and I'm spending all my time there because it's like a little bit it's a home away from home it's vacation place I love it so you appreciate that redo of the driving range they just reopened like you, yes you, you probably like yeah you know yeah, what you guys I'm, some you got you got the google machine working or something <laughs> no, how I'm, do you know, you know just, that I got a, I got a couple. Hey, I got a couple. Rocco was my homie, so before he left. What? Really? That's, oh, that's my that's my dude. That's my oh, dude. That's before awesome. he went to okay, cool. to Brentwood, so you know he oh, stepped. Awesome. It, I don't know if he stepped it up, but he stepped it somewhere else. Hey, hey, in the ba- LA scene. Basically, we have hopped. We have hopped many of fences. I've hopped a few. To- <laughs> fair, very fair statement. Hold on, Jesse. It. Coming up, playing the game. Where were you? How did you? Where? How do you go from? You know, doing movies and TV as a child, even six years old, I saw first movie at eight years old. How do you go from, you know, in front of the camera to like this obsession with this game, man? I I was one of those. I grew up. I thought golf was so stupid. I thought it was for, like, old, you know, old they're, guys. They, they gonna clip that. Guys. Yeah, they, they gonna that's <laughs> yeah, yeah. clip <laughs> right no, there. That's okay. Hard balls. Uh, it's true. It's true. I, I grew up. I played soccer. I played basketball. Uh, I I did. I played tennis. I played baseball. I played all these other sports. And uh, and I was like, why golf looks just boring as heck, man? Why would anybody do that? And uh, but if if you just have that little like that little bit of competitiveness, the second you try golf, that sh- that will mess you up. You know what I mean? So it was about five years ago. Um, I started messing around, and I, and I used to go to the driving range with my dad, like when I was a kid and stuff like that, and you know, hit balls. But that's not that's not golf. Um, and I hadn't touched a club for twenty years until like about five years ago uh me and some buddies started playing over one summer just messing around i'm sure i was shooting like 130 or something 130 who knows she was out but she was out there and uh and then and then i went to a um a charity event in the bahamas with a group of friends uh same guys that i'd been playing with and it was to raise money for uh 
for uh, an educational uh, program for for kids in the Bahamas, and uh, and we had so much fun. Again, I probably shot 125, but something clicked, and I was like, hold on, uh, I can do this thing. I'm gonna I'm gonna get I'm gonna try, and and then I just started I just started getting more and so, more addicted to it. it became, so was it a, you know it's my was, thing now. So Jay, what I mean I, w- I want to go into details. Was it a shot? I mean, was it a a, a skull nine iron that did it for you? What, <laughs> what, what was the shot that like I'm coming back? Do you remember? I don't remember. A a, I don't remember iron. a shot. It was probably just the just being with my friends and we're out there yeah. and we're having a good time. It was beautiful and you know, and, and I, I, I it wasn't one shot. It was just kind of the whole experience. I was I I was like, all right, this is, you know what. My ankles don't work anymore. I got a knee that hurts. My shoulder hurts. <laughs> like, I, my body's messed up. I got a low, I, you know, like from soccer, I'm like, I'm a mess. And it was like, I can do this and not get hurt, which is actually not true anymore because God so knows not true. the back, no, my no, back is no. lit up now. But, um, back you out of me right now. But yeah, me too. <laughs> but, but, you know, it's like, it's something you can do this and be competitive and hang out on the weekends with your buddies, you know, into your 80s playing golf, into your 90s, doesn't matter. So I think it was that, and um, yeah, I just fell in love with it. Yeah, that's one of the things we're really trying to, you know, uh, avenue of, of how we're trying to grow the game is just from the social, the social aspect, you know, mm-hmm. not not so much from swinging a club. But it uh, is though. I mean, it's growing. It's 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 bigger now. Like I hate to say it, but COVID, I know so many people that picked it up during COVID because it was the only thing that you could do and yeah. not go near people, be outside, you know get some exercise, pick up a new hobby. It was like, it was a, it was a relief. It was a, an escape. Um, man, my game got so good during COVID. It was no, crazy. COVID was, COVID was good for global golf. Absolutely. But, yeah. but how did, how did COVID and how did you manage COVID with golf? Were you, were you one of those cats that was just like, well, shit, I'm outside. Let me go get it. Let me go play these 36 real quick. I don't know when my next shoot date's coming. <laughs> Let me go ahead. Like, like how did you manage? <laughs> um, how did you manage yeah, the time? I, yeah, when, you know, during lockdown, um, I was, I would, there was a couple times where I snuck out to a couple courses and just like walked and like, you know, played the same hole over and over again a couple times. Because um, LA's different. LA was different. Mm-hmm. Like, mm-hmm. real different. Yeah, LA was pretty, yeah, LA was very locked down. Uh, but I was here for a lot of it. Um, and then for a good chunk of it, I started working. You know, we started working again back in last October, um, September, October. Uh, but, so it was easy to just drive out to a course, grab my grab my sticks, walk out, you know, and, and everybody was, all the courses were really accommodating because you could just set up a tee time and you say, hey, I'm such and such. You already paid for it, prepaid, golf now, whatever, and start start playing. So I just walk, you know, walk the course. So, you know, when, when you say you wasn't working, now that you are back working and you are ambassador of the game, I don't know how, I don't know how. Uh, let's not, you, hold on. I, oh, you, hold on, hold on, Jay. Know. You are on, you are, you are beyond the fairway. You're ambassador of the game now. We only talk about right? ambassador. <laughs> I'm big, hey, all right. <laughs> so is there anybody within, um, I guess on set? I don't know if I've got the right, the right terminology. Mm-hmm. Anybody on set there's that you couple, play golf with? Couple, there's a couple guys that I haven't played with in a minute. Um, but the guy, uh, so, uh, the Nick Gelfis, who plays my brother on Chicago Med, we you know we have we do all these crossover episodes That's in the Dick Wolfie verse. Right, I've, 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 heard, and I've heard. Yes, and so my brother, played by Nick Gelfis, he's a doctor on Chicago Med. He's a golfer as well. We haven't golfed in a long time; it's been over a year. Um, I'm trying to drag him out there, uh, but uh, he's got his hands full at home, so he's got a new <laughs> a new young one. Um, so, so it's it's been tough, you know. <clears throat> Jesse, I'm down here. I'm playing a practice round for the PGA uh, Assistance Championship here, Port St. Lucie, Florida. I got some friends I'm staying with from my great state of Kentucky. And I was like, hey, guys, I got to get back. Got to record a podcast with, with Jesse Lee Soffer. They were like, from Chicago PD? I was like, yeah, I got to. Bro, my whole lunch experience was was crazy. They were so excited. They had <laughs> really? so many questions about storylines for the show and and the episode that aired That's last awesome. week with you, your your character and and Voight character. I know NBC will only let you say so much about what's currently going on in the show. <laughs> That's so probably for true. my homies from the great state of Kentucky, what can you say about what's going on with? With the P with the PD series, they they it's, need info, and I can't give a, it to them. I'm like, that's nice. awesome. I love hearing I love hearing that. I I mean, we uh, it's it's great. I I I love our fan base. We got diehard fans. It's so cool. So thank you for that. That's awesome. Um, 
We uh, she made right me now. look cool. <laughs> you got, like, yeah, I'm talking to the homie later on. That's my they, they, gave, they gave you a sleeve of uh, pinnacles, didn't they? No, I got some. I got, a, I got a hat. That's what it was. Oh, okay. <laughs> that doesn't say pinnacle. Um, no, I. Uh, so right now, it's a crazy season. There's so much going on. Uh, wow. What can I? What can I tease? Tonight's episode, um, we have this uh, new character uh, named uh, North. Uh, who's who's coming in? He's an FBI investigator. He's a real climber, um, and he's going after Voight, who's my sergeant, who Jay, my character, doesn't really trust anymore because Voight's uh, cleaned up so much. Uh, kind of not he. Voight's one of those like you know, rob the rich, give to the poor characters. He's 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 the antihero. He's the guy that you 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 love how bad he is because he's still doing good. You know, but he's mm. doing it in a very dark way. And yeah. Jay, Jay's on the other side of that. Jay's a very ethical, very morally sound character. And so Jay and Voight really butt heads, and you're seeing that this season in a big way. Oh, um, yeah. And in the next two episodes, that's all going to come to a head where Jay has been confronting Voight constantly, and Voight's like, man, you either got to get on the same page as me or you got to get out. And and Jay and Jay basically is like, fine, throw me out. And um <laughs> And so that's that's kind of where where it's going over the next couple episodes. And I think the fans are like, it's at a fever pitch. I got people on social media. It's like, that was crazy. Jay's so stupid right now. I hate Jay. Why is he doing this? He's got a trust boy <laughs> and all this stuff. And then I'm like, OK, but also, you know, Jay's the guy standing up for proper policing and everything and not and doing things by the book and not lying and not, you know. And so it's it's a really funny conversation that uh, that's it's stirring a lot of conversations for me. Okay, well, I mean that that's cool. I'm sure the writers are cool. You know, uh, <laughs> that's all fine and dandy. Is there Our ever going to be cool. is, is, is is there ever going to be an episode around golf? I mean, I mean, were you on a <laughs> golf hey, range or I mean, I mean, you know what? I, I'm tapping I in. It. I'm I'm tapping into this the screenwriting stuff, you know, I'm learning about exposition and my beats and my sequences and my acts and all that. Ooh. If if you need me to come I write a golf it. episode, I love it. I will do it. I will be there and it'll be a uh, Chicago Black Golf Edition. If you do write a golf episode, man, it better involve my character. If it didn't, that would just be a tragedy. Right. right. Well, if I'm writing it, you'll be the, you'll be the star. I doubt. Yeah, thank you. I doubt all it right. though. I doubt we're going to get into golf. All right, Jesse, I've, I've done a little dive into your Instagram, so I'm going to show you one picture that I've kind of went through. I'm just going to have you... It better not be a golf swing picture. My swing is no, so No, hell no, now. I'm not going to do that, because cause I, I, I did break your golf swing down, yeah. but you posted No, that. so that's, that's, not that's my your swing. fault. That's not my swing now. No, that's not you, my swing now. Yeah, it, then you need man. to send, let's send another. All right, but this is, all right, so this is what we got. Uh, okay. Right now, give us a little context to this photo scene here. <laughs> The yeah, hell yeah, yeah. Is oh, happening. that's good. That's good. Um, yeah, so that <laughs> that was last season or the season before. It's crazy because we're on like we're almost at a hundred. We're almost at one hundred and seventy-five episodes or something like that. It's insane. Damn. So I I think that was last season, um, and I had been uh, kidnapped um, uh, by uh, some uh, some cartel guys, uh, I believe. I, you know what? I honestly, I was kidnapped. I don't even remember by who. It's fine. But I, I it's made fine. it out, though. I made it out alive. Yeah. I, just, <laughs> I just need to understand. It looks like there was some makeup that had to go in here. It, it looks there, like there was like there was like a really bad head wound. I got shot at the end of the episode. It was like it was. Uh, where's it was this just, shirt? It was brutal. Like, like, like where is that shirt? That's the. Cool you know thing. what? They probably still have it somewhere, <laughs> like just in case, because you know they save everything, so they probably have it somewhere. Oh man, I I'm sorry. I, I was scrolling through and I saw that one, and that was the one that was like, uh, "Let's talk about I'm looking this." At, well, it's it's like I feel like you're hungry in this photo. Like you're looking forward <laughs> to lunch. You haven't had it because you're shooting. There's some lady stalking you. You're clearly bleeding. There's a lot going on. I, I went in a lot of different places. Will I'm sorry, but, but uh, that was you a know, rough week. But, that was I want to. Yeah. I want to go back. I want to go back to this golf swing that's posted on your Instagram. Yeah, it's not that. a it's not a bad swing, Jay. What, no, what, 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 how is it different? What, what what did you what did you change? Well, you, you know, I I was one of those guys like for the first couple of years, few years where I was like I can I can teach myself golf. 
I can just, oh, you know, God. Everybody's it. like, yeah. everybody's yeah, totally. like that, man. And everybody. That is such like a nobody wants to learn the right but, way. <laughs> no, I know. So, I, so I've actually, I actually took a lesson from Rocco. I was taking a lot of lessons from Rick Riley, who's over, the head of golf over at uh, Wilshire. And, um, and also a, a gentleman I met who's a PGA uh, coach, uh, John LaPac, who's in California. Um, and so uh, my swing changed so much from that picture uh, for the better, I think. Uh, well, more shallow, a little earlier. How's the ball, how's the you know, ball flight change? A little earlier hinge. The the ball flight. Uh, I'm still right now. I'm turning it over from right to left. Why? What's the ball flight in the picture you got? What do you? No, what picture I, you got? I don't, come on, man. I'm gonna see the ball flight on Instagram. Like, come on, man. All I got is oh, this I right like, here. Oh, okay. All right. Fair I think, enough. Fair enough. I, I mean, it looks it, it looks it good. Look good. It looks like, good. Which picture is it? Which one is it? Uh, it is. Because I know this um, couple. Because I'm all, It was yeah, from. Yeah, it yeah, was yeah, from. Yeah, it yeah. was from the summer of uh, Chicago that's, med, that's on, med days. That's on plane. <laughs> summer of Chicago. <laughs> it was during CSI. Just before LL Cool J took his hat. Oh, it was that. It was during there. Sorry. Oh man. <laughs> oh my god. No, but like uh, you know, it's funny. Like we're all sticklers of our golf swing. I, I know. Will plays upside down and cross handed, as I'm sure you've seen. You, you know. And, no, I didn't know that. That's wait, amazing. Wait, what? Will, no, you, I didn't you know didn't. That. Jesse hey, didn't. Hey, do this is not. This is not going to be the Will Lowry. This is not. We're not getting on Will Lowry right now. This is about Jesse. Hold on. Wait. Well, just you go to Will's Instagram. Wait. I, got, I don't know. I didn't. I'm sorry. I should have done research. I did this not. The, You're a cross-handed player. That's crazy. crazy. I, 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 I want to interview am. you. I, I have. I have do a it. swing only. I, go. Every wait, position. What kind of shots? Wait. Every. Wait. Every. Every just position. Short game or long, or long, long stuff too. All, all 14 clubs. No. No Diaz. How and, what's your what's your wait? How oh, what's your drive like? How far does your drive go? Every every position in the golf swing, I break. I don't do. I I am Will. I am completely so off the grid. You can't give me crap about being self, like one of the self taught guys like that. You didn't. <laughs> no teacher, no coach was like, I like what you're doing. <laughs> Keep it up. That that is true. That is true. I I am I am within the confines of what you guys learn, but I am completely off the grid. This this is swing only a mother can love for sure. Oh my uh, Will, Will's first I'm lesson he said right after this. I can't I Will, can't right now. I can't pull it up because I got my phone on the Will's first golf head. lesson he said, nah to hell with that. I'm not doing that. It That's was not, it's stupid. The way you guys hold the, the way you guys hold a club is is stupid. It just Oh it's stupid. my goodness. It's oh. stupid. Hey, all right, Jesse's going to go look for Will. Look, Jesse, we got to get you out of here. We're keeping you long this evening. But we got to send you out of here the only way that we know how. You probably won't get this question again anywhere else. You get it right here, Beyond the Fairway, Golf Channel, NBC Sports. You're going to go play golf with four rappers, okay? I don't care if they're dead or alive. I don't care if you listen to rap music or Biggie, not. Tupac, Eminem, done. That's, that, I need another one. I, mean, I, I thought it was a foursome. I thought it was a foursome. No, rap, that, that rap oh, foursome Jay-Z, that you done. joined. Jay-Z, Jay-Z, Say it again. Jay-Z. All right, one Jay-Z, more time. Tupac, Do it again. Eminem, Jay-Z. Okay. Right. Okay. There it is. Okay. That's so easy. easy. That's the easiest question. That's, 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 I, didn't know, I didn't know you go there. Like, I it just thought it was more honestly, thought. Honestly, though, I'm, I'm, I'm from New York. I was born in New York. So Biggie, Jay-Z, Eminem, Tupac. They, oh, there you go. It, Big, Big is such a storyteller. I, he's a great mm-hmm. storyteller. Good storyteller. Yeah. I, I enjoy it. And Jay Z is, is just Jay Z. Why not? Jay Z is still Jay Z. Jay Z is like, he's, is there's. The, he's great. Special. Hey, you know what? It's a great. He is still Jay Z. Mm-hmm. Hey, hold, hold mm-hmm. on. I got to say this, Will. Previous episode to you, we had Annika Sorenstam in here on the hot seat. Asked her who her rap foursome was, Jay. She said, uh, Eminem, mm-hmm. Nicki Minaj, um, who she say Will was the third one, but the fourth one was the funniest. The fourth one, she said, Beyonce's husband. Funniest, <laughs> funniest thing I've heard all week. Beyonce's husband. Yeah. But yo, awesome. Jesse, all the luck to you and all of the shows under the Chicago uh, umbrella. Man, we appreciate you stepping in here, going beyond the fairway with Will Lowry and myself, man. Thank all you guys blessings. so much. This was a lot of fun. Will, I'm gonna go check out your swing. Absolutely, man. And also, I mean, for for uh, for those unfamiliar with the show, where can they find the show and and, and what time? Oh, time uh, NBC ten nine central, Wednesday Perfect. nights. Hey. NBC hey. ten nine okay. central Wednesday nights. Right. It's on tonight. Ten nine central. New oh, episode. I'm watching tonight. I'm Please watching. do. And let me know. Let All me know right, if I need uh, one episode of Rice and 
write some shit. I'm, I'm if, if we got any golf storylines coming up, I'll let you guys know. All right, perfect. <laughs> well, what I enjoyed about our conversation with Jesse is because you, I don't think you, you knew that he was actually a golfer golfer. You know what I'm saying? On my ha-ha Davis. Like, he he, he played the game. He, he told you he shot a number, and you was like, hold on now, hold on, wait a minute. You, yeah. You, I, you play? You man, play cuss? I, I just, I, I mean, I just thought, you know, he used his celebrity status to play golf, but I didn't know he used his celebrity status to play golf. When I saw the 76, when we were talking about the 76, that kind of threw me for a loop. I'm like, mm. okay, so now we can we can have a real conversation here on Beyond the Fairway, you know? And in fact, the fact that he took his 76 to, to Jackson Park in Chicago, I mean, it just I just fell in love with the guy, man. You know, <laughs> <laughs> you know, we 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 had a little heart to heart. Told him that we jumped fences and you know to 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 to, yeah. to get a golf course and a couple holes in. You know, just I, I mean, he's one of my favorite I, actors. Now he's got to go watch the show. <laughs> I wonder, Will, if he actually pulls up to the course though with the with the Chicago PD, you know, uniform. Because you go out not. there, you 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 might need that. Yeah, you you you, you, you may, but I, I hope not, because I'm sure uh, I'm sure them boys in Chicago can sniff that he's an actor. <laughs> yeah, he, hey, but he's not an actor. He ain't no actor on that golf course, man. Look, I really wanted to get into like the whole fact that you tried to to pitch him. A golf episode to pit. You a showrunner now? We all like. I know you got a lot of things going I, I, on. I didn't I, I know just, you were showrunner. Hey, I'm the I, I'm the man of many hats, man. You know you can't. My whole my whole ideal and my mo, and my uh, my uh, motto is you can't fire the talent. No, let me get that right. Hold on. You no, can't. You, you can fire the talent, but it's kind of tough to fire the creator. So that's kind of pretty much where I'm at. So I was just trying okay. to let him know, like if. If and the producers and writers over there need to figure out how to, you know, properly fit a golf episode in their uh, in their overlog story, you know, I I got them. You know, I I, I, I mean, know. we and, we and, can write a good little exposition and make sure the inciting incident reaches climax. And because you know, in writing, Doug, you know, the 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 you know, uh, beats create sequences and sequence create acts and and acts creates a, a great overall story. And okay. I mean, I'm just. I believe you. For for those of you who are trying to learn how to write, go listen to uh, Robert McKee story, which is a great book and teach you how to screenplay write. That's what I'm saying. All right. Shout out to well, Robert. All I McKee. know is all I know is uh <laughs> Jesse said we coming out to Wilshire. So Jesse, when I slide them DMs, hit us back because we're gonna go ahead and tee it up. We're gonna put that seventy six uh to the test because I'm coming for that ass, bro. I'm just letting you know. Let's just get we're going beyond the fairway on the course. But hey, shout out Jesse Lee Soffer coming in here holding us down beyond the fairway. And, and for the record, when we come out there, I, I don't care about winning. I just want to bring you some of my work, uh, <laughs> let you know how my style, my writing style is. But yeah, we can do that too. We can play golf too. Okay. So Will's going to write. I'm going to play because <laughs> how often do we get to play at Wilshire? But Will, it's that time. Let's go ahead and get to it. It's the Shake of the Week. I mean, I don't. It don't really call for all the dramatics. My the shank of the week is the person I'm looking at directly in the box to my left. <laughs> it's Dougie Smith with the. I don't even know it in Spanish. Was it Nueve? What is it? What's yeah, nine? Close, close enough. Nuevo. I'm not even. I'm not even going to glorify you. There you go. But you know what I'm talking about. It's, it's, it's after it's Ocho. Nueve. It's after it's Ocho. Nueve. I wish I could have made an Ocho. <laughs> Hell, I wish I could have made a Cinco. No, no. Now you, you, <laughs> you see what I did you, there? Did you see that though? Yeah, Ocho that was yeah, Ocho That's Cinco. Not... That was that was pretty good. That was pretty hey, good. Hey, now it was still corny, but it was still good. Hey, uh-huh. but but yeah, I mean, I mean, you missed the abominable snowman. You went over his head. You had a <laughs> you had a nine. Yes, you had man. a nine. Mm-hmm. How, how yes, I, you are the shank of the week? But let's go in depth. How'd you get a nine? on a hole that was less than 400 yards. Wow, this is, um, I feel like I got all the missiles aimed at me right now. Yes, so, you do. Okay, I'll get into it. It's not something that I'm I'm particularly happy about. So I shot one over the first round, didn't make me any I'm not asking that, Doug. Do not oh, try I gotta to soften build it up. No, I you gotta don't build the drama. No, I gotta build the drama. No, 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 no. That ain't none no, of our business. Build let's build it up. The one over don't mean nothing. You had a nine. It's a 36 hole qualifying for hey, the cut when Kevin, situation. When, when, when Kevin Nye got his Fifteen. He didn't say I shot something the week, the day prior. But he not, went right, into the fifteen. Right. I thought I was. I thought I was being interviewed here. No, I no. Know I, I don't need. I don't need the other. Stuff. I'm already got the shank. Hell, let me. Let me. Let me make it shankless. You can't. I don't. Okay, whatever. 
Because anyway, the people, hold on, Doug. The people you give shanks, they don't have a chance to defend themselves. So you don't either. You just got to go straight into it. <laughs> Uh, well, came off back to back birdies. Was feeling good about <laughs> hey, my you're life. Doing it, you're doing it again, no, Doug. I'm right go straight into the nine. What happened to the first tee box? I, I don't need. I don't need. Any, I don't the, need pre, the, precursor. It was the eighth. It was the eighth tee box. Eighth hole. Long story short, I'm trying to hit a cut off the left side. <laughs> Will, you. I got a three wood. I'm, I'm, but in my mind, I'm riding high, right? I, I'm, I had some good holes, and I uh, try to hit this cut and hit this double cross toe hook. And uh, there's water down the left side, way left. There's water way left. And I hear my ball hit trees, which means I hit it across the water. And so I'm thinking, all right, it's a hazard. I'm going to go ahead and just drop where it crossed the water, you know, make a five, get on the green. No, I uh, read the rule sheet, Will, and the rule sheet said left of the water's out of bounds. So went back to the tee box, re-teed, hit it in a green side or a fairway bunker, tried to get over a very high lip. Ball hits the lip, goes back into the water short of the green. Don't you hate that? Drop again. And then I chunk a shot into a greenside bunker. Mm. And then I miss an eight-footer for um, eight. It was <laughs> really <laughs> out there. <laughs> that shit had me so mad. Dude. Hey, he was hot. Hey, 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 Doug, so hey, Doug, 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 Doug. <laughs> when, you, when, you, when you put that, when that ball go in the cup, and you grab the ball and you go back to the car path to your bag or cart, whatever. <laughs> Talk to me about that feeling, dog. How uh, su or how suicidal watch were you? Like how how much were you on suicidal watch? Well, the thing was, I knew where the cut was, right? Because they show you the projected cut, so I knew it was gonna be around like two, three over. And I was sitting there even, and I was like, <laughs> okay, I got I it hit the ball in the water. I'm like, all right, I got a I got a little something I can still work with. I get in here, double. I'm cool. No, 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 no. So to answer your question, um, as soon as I realized the ball was out of bounds and not in the hazard, that's when the demons started coming up. That's the, when that, <laughs> that's when, that, and then that ride back to the tee box had me like son of. You think you think about life. You just think about how you're a failure. <laughs> it's just no, it's the worst, man. I was, the, and then I hit, and then the next shot, I actually hit the cut that I thought I was going to hit. The first shot, swing felt the same. Just I just didn't hit it off the toe, but lesson to be learned. I didn't even need to hit the damn club, Will. All I had to do was lay it out to like 140 with like a five iron. That's what pisses me off, man. You play yeah. the you play the hole you on now like you tried to do it yesterday, and the whole course is different. You know what I mean? Damn. So you still think you it's yesterday. <sighs> so was that that was that the highest recorded number in the whole tournament? No, believe it or not, it was oh, not. Oh, what kind <laughs> of tournament multiple... was what kind of tournament was this? This is the assistance championship. This ain't the the the, the PPC. This was there the next go. tier the, down. This, there you go. The assist. There you go. That's why. You know what? It, I'm <laughs> I'm done with you, man. Hey, we appreciate y'all tapping in with us right here, Beyond the Fairway NBC Golf Channel. Will, thank you for a yes. I earned that shank. And you know what? The damn the, the damn part before I close this out. On the 18th hole of the day, I knew I was getting shank of the week. I actually said that to myself after that night. I go. Will's gonna give me the damn shank of the week. Well, yeah, I, I, got I, it. I, I thought when I when I saw the number on uh, on my phone, I turned my phone upside down. I said, "Oh, I had my phone upside down the whole time." But no, no, it was it was a nine. I, I just thought maybe it was a six. Yeah. I don't know. Well, I appreciate that. Everybody, be sure to go follow Will and I on Instagram and follow the Beyond the Fairway account on IG. That's where we at. That's where we showing you what we do. Appreciate y'all rocking with us as always, right here, Golf Channel, Will. I'm out of here, son. I really, for real though, Doug, I really thought I was a sace. I really did. But it ended up being the way they. So sad. That's what you get at assistant championship, though. You get, you get assistant scores. Ha, ha, ha.